Liaoning Liaoning is a northern coastal province in northeast China on the shore of Yellow Sea, being the smallest but the most populous province in the region. The modern Liaoning province was established in 1907 as Fengshan or Fengtan province and was renamed Liaoning in 1929, also known as Mukden province at the time for the Manchu pronunciation of Shengjing, the former name of the provincial capital Shenyang. Under the Japanese puppet Manchukuo regime, the province reverted to its 1907 name, but the name Liaoning was restored in 1945 and again in 1954. Liaoning is the southernmost province of northeast China, historically also known as Manchuria. It is also known in Chinese as the Golden Triangle, from its shape and strategic location, with the Yellow Sea, Korea Bay and Bohai Sea in the south, North Korea's North Pyongan and Chagang provinces in the southeast, Jilin to the northeast, Hebei to the southwest, and Inner Mongolia to the northwest. The Yalu River marks its border with North Korea, emptying into the Korea Bay between Dandong in Liaoning and Sinuaju in North Korea. History In the past Liaoning formed part of Korean kingdoms as Gojo Seon and Goguryeo, as well as Chinese polities such as the Yan State of the Zhou Dynasty and the Han Dynasty. It was also inhabited by non-Han peoples such as Shungnu, Dongwu, Sibei. In addition, the Balhae, Katan, Jiuqin, Mongol Empire and Northern Yuan ruled Liaoning. The Ming Empire took control of Liaoning in 1371, just three years after the expulsion of the Mongols from Beijing. Around 1442, a defense wall was constructed to defend the agricultural heartland of the province from a potential threat from the Jurchen Mongol Oryanghan who were Ming's tributaries from the northwest. Between 1467 and 1468, the wall was expanded to protect the region from the northeast as well, against attacks from Jinzhou Jurchens who were later to become known as the Manchu people. Although similar in purpose to the Great Wall of China, this Liaodong Wall was of a lower cost design. While stones and tiles were used in some parts, most of the wall was in fact simply an earth dike with moats on both sides. Despite the Liaodong Wall, the Manchus conquered Liaodong, or eastern Liaoning, in the early 17th century, decades before the rest of China fell to them. The Manchu dynasty, styled later Jin, established its capital in 1616–1621 in Xingjing, Xingjing which was located outside of the Liaodong Wall in the eastern part of the modern Liaoning province today's ruins of Hetuela at Zilaicheng village in Xinbin Manchu Autonomous County, Xinbin Man Zuzi Zixian part of Fushan City. It was moved to Dongjing east of today's Liaoyang, Liaoning, and finally in 1625 to Shengjing now, Shenyang, Liaoning. Although the main Qing capital was moved from Shengjing to Beijing after it fell to the Qing in 1644, Shengjing retained its importance as a regional capital throughout most of the Qing era. The Qing conquest of Liaoning resulted in a significant population loss in the area, as many local Chinese residents were either killed during fighting, or fled south of the Great Wall, many cities being destroyed by the retreating Ming forces themselves. As late as 1661, the civil governor Fuyin of Fengshan province, Zhang Shangxian reported that, outside of Fengshan city, Shenyang, Liaoyang, and Haicheng, all other cities east of the Liaohe were either abandoned, or hardly had a few hundred residents left. In the governor's words, Tealing and Fushan only have a few vagrants. West of the Liaohe, only Ningyuan, Jinzhao, and Guangning had any significant populations remaining. In the latter half of the 17th century, starting with laws issued in 1651 and 1653, the imperial Qing government recruited migrants from south of the Great Wall, notably from Shandong, to settle the relatively sparsely populated area of Fengshan Province, roughly corresponding to today's Liaoning. Many of the current residents of Liaoning trace their ancestry to these 17th century settlers. The rest of China's northeast, however, remained officially off limits to Han Chinese for most of the Manchu era. To prevent the migration of Chinese to those regions today's Jilin and Heilongjiang, as well as the adjacent parts of Inner Mongolia, the so-called Willow Palisade was constructed ca. 1638 ca. 1672. 
the palisade encircled the agricultural heartlands of Fengshan, running in most areas either somewhat outside the old Ming Liaodong Wall, or reusing it, and separating it from the Manchu forests to the northeast and the Mongol grazing lands to the northwest. Later on, the Qing government tried to stop the migrants' flow to Fengshan or even to make some settlers return to their original places of residence, or, failing that, to legalize them. For example, an edict issued in 1704 commented on the recent Han Chinese settlers in Fengshan having failed to comply with earlier orders requiring them to leave, and asked them either to properly register and join a local defense group, Bao Bao, or to leave the province for their original places within the next ten years. Ten years later, naturally, another edict appeared, reminding of the necessity to do something with illegal migrants. In any event, the restrictive policy was not as effective as desired by the officials in Beijing, and Fengshan's population doubled between 1683 and 1734. During the Qing dynasty, Manchuria was ruled by three generals, one of whom, the general of Shengjing Mukden I. Yangjian, ruled much of modern Liaoning. In 1860, the Manchu government began to reopen the region to migration, which quickly resulted in Han Chinese becoming the dominant ethnic group in the region. In the 20th century, the province of Fengshan was set up in what is Liaoning today. When Japan and Russia fought the Russo-Japanese War in 1904–1905, many key battles took place in Liaoning, including the Battle of Port Arthur and the Battle of Mukden, which was, to that point, the largest land battle ever fought. During the warlord era in the early 20th century, Liaoning was under the Fengshan clique, including Zhang Zulin and his son Zhang Zuliang. The province first received its present name on January 29, 1929. The Jungdong Railway incident took place later that year. In 1931, Japan invaded and the area came under the rule of the Japanese controlled puppet state of Manchukuo. The Chinese Civil War that took place following Japanese defeat in 1945 had its first major battles, the Liaoshan Campaign in and around Liaoning. At the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949, Liaoning did not exist, instead there were two provinces, Liaodong and Liaoshi, as well as five municipalities, Shenyang, Luda, present-day Dalian, Anshan, Fushan, and Benxi. These were all merged into Liaoning in 1954, and parts of former Rihi province were merged into Liaoning in 1955. During the Cultural Revolution Liaoning also took in a part of Inner Mongolia, though this was reversed later. Liaoning was one of the first provinces in China to industrialize, first under Japanese occupation, and then even more in the 1950s and 1960s. The city of Anshan, for example, is home to one of the largest iron and steel complexes in China. In recent years, this early focus on heavy industry has become a liability, as many of the large state-run enterprises have experienced economic difficulties. Recognizing the special difficulties faced by Liaoning and other provinces in northeast China because of their heritage of heavy industry, the Chinese central government recently launched a Revitalize the Northeast campaign. Geography It is possible to think of Liaoning as three approximate geographical regions, the highlands in the west, plains in the middle, and hills in the east. The highlands in the west are dominated by the Nuluerhu Mountains, which roughly follow the border between Liaoning and Inner Mongolia. The entire region is dominated by low hills. The central part of Liaoning consists of a basin drained by rivers such as the Liao, Daliao, and their tributaries. This region is mostly flat and low-lying. The eastern part of Liaoning is dominated by the Changbai Shan and Changshan ranges, which extend into the sea to form the Liaodong Peninsula. The highest point in Liaoning, Mount Huabozi meters, is found in this region. Liaoning has a continental monsoon climate, and rainfall averages to about 440 to 1130 mm annually. Summer is rainy while the other seasons are dry. Major cities Shenyang Dalian Anshan Liaoyang Fushan Dandong Jinzhou Yingku Topic: Paleontology. 
Liaoning contains some of the foremost paleontological sites in the world. Known collectively as the Jiehol Group, they include the Yizhan Formation, Jufotang Formation and Tiaojishan Formation. The name Jiehol derives from a now-defunct provincial division of that name, which covered an area that is now western Liaoning, eastern Hubei, and a small part of Inner Mongolia. Fossils were first found there during the 1920s. During the Japanese occupation of the area through the 1930s and early 1940s, more fossils were found, but records of them were lost after World War II ended. The area remained relatively unexplored until the 1990s. It was in 1996 that Liaoning made the headlines with the announcement of the discovery of Cynosauropteryx prima, the first example of a filamented, feathered dinosaur. Cynosauropteryx prima was a small feathered meat-eating dinosaur, from the Lower Cretaceous Yizhan Formation. This discovery pushed the evolution of feathers back in time and showed that dinosaurs, not only birds, had feathers. It also showed a direct evolutionary link between theropod dinosaurs and modern birds. Since then, dozens of groundbreaking finds have been discovered throughout the J-Hole group. These including the earliest flower, earliest eutherian mammal, known as Eomaya, the earliest known metatherian, an intact embryo of a pterosaur, Repinomimus robustus, a 15 kg heavy mammal that ate dinosaurs, Synornithosaurus milleni, as well as many birds and feathered dinosaurs. Discoveries such as DeLong paradoxus, another feathered theropod, date to the early Cretaceous period. This is some 60 million years before Tyrannosaurus, and thus these discoveries push the evolution of feathers earlier than previously thought. The Liaoning fossils are noted for their high degree of preservation often including soft body tissues, which is rare. Aside from the famous birds and feathered dinosaurs, the Liaoning fossils include insects, fish, aquatic arthropods, and plants. The Liaoning deposit is widely considered to be the one of the world's premier fossil sites. The high level of preservation is believed to be due to how the animals died. The area was volcanically active, and large plumes of volcanic dust repeatedly covered the area, instantly killing and burying any living thing in the area. The extremely fine grain of the sediment and the chemical composition of the ash prevented the usual bacterial decay. In some specimens, extremely fine details can be seen such as the proboscis of the bee Florinomestrus used to drink nectar from the earliest flowers. In other specimens, colors are still visible, including stripes on fish and spots on turtles. Topic: <inaudible> Politics. The politics of Liaoning is structured in a single-party government system like all other governing institutions in mainland China. The governor of Liaoning is the highest ranking official in the People's Government of Liaoning. However, in the province's single party government governing system, the governor has less power than the Communist Party of China Liaoning Provincial Committee Secretary, for short, colloquially termed the Liaoning Party Chief. Previous to 1949 and the takeover of the communist forces, Liaoning was governed by the Fengxian clique of warlords and interchangeably officials of the Chiang Kai-shek bureaucracy. During the Qing dynasty Liaoning was known as the province of Fengxian, Fengtian and was governed by a Zongdu or Viceroy the Viceroy of the three eastern provinces, Dong San Sheng Zongdu along with the provinces of Jilin and Heilongjiang. The province itself also had a governor, Zunfu Sunfu. Topic: Administrative divisions. Liaoning is divided into 14 prefecture-level divisions. All prefecture-level cities, including two sub-provincial cities, these prefecture-level cities are in turn divided into 100 county-level divisions, 56 districts, 17 county-level cities, 19 counties, and eight autonomous counties, which are then further subdivided into 1511 township-level divisions, 613 towns, 301 townships, 77 ethnic townships, and 520 subdistricts. At the end of the year 2017, the total population is 43.69 million. One. Topic: <inaudible> Urban areas. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Economy. 
Liaoning has the largest and wealthiest provincial economy of northeast China. Its nominal GDP for 2017 was 2.39 trillion yuan, ca. 354 billion United States dollars, making it the 14th largest in China out of 31 provinces. Its per capita GDP was 54,745 yuan, 8,108 United States dollars. Among the three provinces of northeast China, Liaoning is the largest in terms of GDP and GDP per capita. In 2008, Liaoning was the region with the highest GDP growth among global G8x8, the eight provinces or states below national level with the highest GDP of the top eight GDP nations. According to preliminary statistics, Liaoning maintained its GDP growth rate of 13.1% in 2009 and held its position as the province with the highest economic growth. Economic growth has since slowed down, with the economy expanding 3% in 2015 and contracting 1.3% in the first quarter of 2016. Leading industries include petrochemicals, metallurgy, electronics telecommunications, and machinery. On a national level, Liaoning is a major producer of pig iron, steel and metal cutting machine tools, all of whose production rank among the top three in the nation. Liaoning is one of the most important raw materials production bases in China. Industries such as mining, quarrying, smelting and pressing of ferrous metals, petroleum and natural gas extraction, are all of great significance. Meanwhile, Liaoning is an important production base of equipment and machinery manufacturing, with Shenyang and Dalian being the industrial centers. Enterprises such as Shenyang Jinbei Co., Ltd., Daxian Group Co., Ltd., and Shenyang Machine Tool Co., Ltd., are leaders in their sectors. The province's light industry mainly focuses on textiles and clothing industries which include cotton and wool spinning, chemical fiber production, knitting, silk production, and the manufacturing of both garments and textile machinery. In 2008, its tertiary industry accounted for 34.5% of total GDP. In the future, Liaoning will continue its efforts to restructure large and medium-sized state enterprises. Meanwhile, the province will concentrate in developing its four pillar industries, petrochemicals, metallurgy, machinery and electronics. <inaudible> agriculture Main agricultural products of Liaoning include maize, sorghum, and soybeans. The region around Dalian produces three quarters of China's exported apples and peaches. Cotton is also produced. Liaoning's fruits include apples from Dalian and Yinku, golden peaches from Dalian, pears from Beijing of Jinzhou, white pears from Huludao and Suizhong, and apricots and plums from Gushan of Dandong. Topic: <laughs> Mining. Liaoning has the most iron, magnesite, diamond, and boron deposits among all province-level subdivisions of China. Liaoning is also an important source of petroleum and natural gas. Salt is produced along the coast. <inaudible> <inaudible> Oil Along with Liaoning's rich mineral reserves, the province also has abundant deposits of crude oil, especially in the Liaohe oil field. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Industry. Liaoning is one of China's most important industrial bases, covering a wide range of industries such as machinery, electronics, metal refining, petroleum, chemical industries, construction materials, coal, and so on. The Sea of Dalian abounds with quality seafood such as abalones, sea cucumbers, scallops, prawns, crabs, and sea urchins. The big fish of Dandong, the jellyfish of Yinku, and the clams of Panjin are known worldwide for their good tastes right from the sea and in products made in Liaoning for export domestically and internationally. Topic: <laughs> Trade. The cities of Dalian, Dandong and Yinku have been developed as major ports and economic gateways to all of northeast China.
Topic economic and technological development zones of the development zones formally recognized by the PRC State Council 56 are located in Liaoning including 14 on the national level and 42 on the provincial level These zones are further grouped into economic development zones high tech zones free trade and export processing zones and special development zones Shenyang Cross Strait Science Industrial Zone In October 1995, the Shenyang Cross Strait Science Industrial Zone was approved to be established by State Council. The Shenyang Cross Strait Science Industrial Zone is the only zone established as part of the Shenyang Hunan High Tech Industrial Development Zone. It has a total area of 5 square kilometers (1.9 square miles). It welcomes international investment. It focuses on the development of instruments manufacturing, telecommunication, biopharmaceuticals, electronics, and new materials. Liaoning Shenyang Export Processing Zone Liaoning Shenyang Zhangxi Export Processing Zone was approved to be established by the state government in June 2005. It is located in the national level Shenyang Economic and Technological Development Zone, with a planned area of 62 square kilometers (24 square miles) and current area of 14.1 square kilometers (5.4 square miles). It encourages and focuses on the development of auto and auto parts, electronics, precision machinery, new energy, new materials, and the fine chemical industry. Shenyang Economic and Technological Development Zone Shenyang Hunan High Tech Industrial Development Zone Shenyang Hunan High Tech Industrial Development Zone used to be called the Shenyang High Tech Industrial Development Zone. Established in 1988, it is a national high-tech development zone approved by the State Council. The zone is located in western Shenyang City with an area of 32 square kilometers 12 square miles. Its encouraged industries include electronic information, new materials, biological engineering, energy saving, and environmental protection. Anshan High Tech Industrial Development Zone Dalian Economic and Technological Development Zone Dalian Economic and Technological Development Zone now known as the Dalian Development Area was established in September 1984, as one of the first of the China National Economic and Technological Development Zones. The zone had a GDP of 70.31 billion yuan in 2007 and the total volume of its import and export trade was $14.92 billion, which accounts for a quarter of such trade for all of Liaoning province. Most of the enterprises in Dalian ETDZ are factories owned by foreign enterprises, especially from Japan, South Korea and the United States, such as Canon, Pfizer, Toshiba, and Intel. Dalian Export Processing Zone Dalian Export Processing Zone was approved to be set up by the State Council in April 2000 with a planned area of 2.95 square kilometers 1.14 square miles. It is divided into two parts, a zone and B zone. A zone has a construction area of 1.5 square kilometers 0.58 square miles and started operation in May 2001. All the basic infrastructure is available, which includes road, water, gas, and power supply, telecommunication, and so on. A zone promotes industries such as home appliances, lighting, machinery, construction materials, and medical instruments. Dalian Free Trade Zone Dalian Free Trade Zone was approved to be set up by the government in May, 1992. Policies include duty-free trade. It has attracted some leading industries, such as electronics, machinery, and plastics. Dalian High Tech Industrial Development Zone Dalian High Tech Industrial Development Zone was approved to be a national level development zone in 1991. It has a total area of 35.6 square kilometers, 13.7 square miles. It focuses on and encourages the following industries: electronic information, biopharmaceuticals, and new materials. Dandong Border Economic Corporation Zone Dandong Border Economic Corporation Zone was approved to be a national level development zone in 1992. It is located in the bank of Yalu River, and opposite Sinuaju, a North Korean city. It promotes industries such as electronic information, machinery manufacturing, and biopharmaceuticals. Yinku Economic and Technical Development Zone Regional development strategies Topic 
Central Liaoning City Cluster, Shenyang Metro Area. The Central Liaoning City Cluster is a megalopolis centered on Shenyang, urban population 4 million. Within its 150 kilometers (93 miles) radius, it includes Anshan, urban population 1.3 million, Fushan, 1.3 million, Yinku, 1.1 million, Benshi, 0.95 million, Liaoyang, 0.7 million, and Tiling, 0.4 million. In April 2010, the State Council of the People's Republic of China approved a national development strategy for the Shenyang metro area. The core of this strategy is innovation in industrial development, integration of the eight cities, integration of urban and rural areas as well as the promotion of more market-oriented development. Liaoning Coastal Economic Belt The party secretary of the Liaoning Provincial Committee of the Communist Party of China, Li Keqiang, initiated the development of a strategy entitled, Five Points and One Line, which he first proposed on a visit to Yinku in late 2005. Liaoning Province formally launched the development strategy for the entire Liaoning coastline in early 2006, so as to reinvigorate the provincial economy from its traditional status as a rust belt of Chinese state-owned enterprises. The five points indicate five key development areas in the province and cover seven zones, the Changxing Island Harbor Industrial Zone in Dalian, Yinku Coastal Industrial Base, Liaoshi Jinjiao Bay Coastal Economic Zone, Dandong, and the Zhuanga Waiwanku Industrial Zone. The five zones together cover a planned area of nearly 500 square kilometers 190 square miles. The one line mentioned in the strategy represents a new series of motorways along the coast. The coastline of 1,433 kilometers will become the connection between the five above zones, through which six provincial cities, 21 counties and 113 towns will be interlinked. Coastal motorways directly connect the entire string of five zones along the Bohai Sea. Topic: Demography. The population of Liaoning is mostly Han Chinese, with minorities of Manchus, Mongols, Hui, Koreans, and Zibei. Excludes members of the People's Liberation Army in active service. Source: Department of Population, Social, Science and Technology Statistics of the National Bureau of Statistics of China and Department of Economic Development of the State Ethnic Affairs Commission of China Tabulation on Nationalities of 2000 Population Census of China 2 vols. Beijing, Nationalities Publishing House, Min Zhu Chu Banshi 2003. ISBN 7 105 05425 5. Religion According to a 2012 survey, only around 10% of the population of Liaoning belongs to organized religions, the largest groups being Buddhists with 5.5%, followed by Protestants with 2.2%, Muslims with 0.6%, and Catholics with 0.2%. The reports didn't give figures for other types of religion. Around 90% of the population may be either irreligious or involved in Chinese folk religions, cults of nature deities and ancestors. Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, folk religious sects. The significant Manchu population, although strongly assimilated to the Han Chinese and practicing Chinese religions, also retains its own pure Manchu shamanism. At the same time, the local religion of the Han people throughout Manchuria has developed patterns of deities, ideas, and practices inherited from Manchu and Tungus shamanism, making it quite different from central and southern Chinese folk religion. The Mongol ethnic minority either follows the Mongolian folk religion and shamanism, or Tibetan Buddhism. Tourism 
The Mukden Palace was the palace of the Qing dynasty emperors before they conquered the rest of China and moved their capital to Beijing. Though not as large nor as well known as its counterpart the Forbidden City in Beijing, the Mukden Palace is significant for its representation of palace architecture at the time, and has recently been included on the UNESCO World Heritage Site as an extension of the Imperial Palace Site in Beijing. In addition, three imperial tombs dating from the Qing dynasty are located in Liaoning. These tomb sites have been grouped with other Ming and Qing dynasties tombs such as the Ming dynasty tombs in Beijing, and the Ming Shaoling Mausoleum in Nanjing as a combined UNESCO World Heritage Site. Wunu Mountain City, a Goguryeo site found in Huanren Manchu Autonomous County, is part of a combined UNESCO World Heritage Site that also includes sites in Jian, Jilin. Then she offers a boat ride though a large stalactite filled cave and underground river. Anshan hosts the Jade Buddha Palace, the largest Buddha statue made of jade in the world. Liaoyang, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in northeast China, has a number of historical sites, including the White Pagoda Baita, that dates to the Yuan dynasty. The port city of Dalian, located on the tip of the Liaodong Peninsula, is a tourist destination in its own right, with beaches, resorts, zoos, seafood, shopping, Russian and Japanese-era heritage architecture, and streetcars, a rare site in China. Dandong, on the border with North Korea, is a medium-sized city that offers a cross-river view of the North Korean city of Sinuaju. The Jia Mountain is a curious island which joins to the mainland at low tide by a land bridge. Topic. Education Topic. Colleges and universities Under the National Ministry of Education Northeastern University Dalian University of Technology Under various other national agencies National Police University of China Dalian Maritime University Dalian Nationalities University under the provincial government China Medical University Shenyang Normal University Shenyang Medical College Liaoning Medical University Liaoning Normal University Liaoning Technical University Liaoning University Liaoning University of Petroleum and Chemical Technology Shenyang Agricultural University Shenyang Institute of Aeronautical Engineering Shenyang Institute of Chemical Technology Shenyang Jinju University Shenyang Legong University Shenyang Pharmaceutical University Shenyang University Shenyang University of Technology Anshan Normal University Bohai University Dalian Jiaotong University Dalian Medical University Dalian University Dalian University of Foreign Languages Dongbei University of Finance and Economics Liaoning Institute of Technology Liaoning Radio and TV University Liaoning Jiguang Bodai and Shi Da Shui Shenyang Polytechnic College Shenyang Zhiyi Ji Shu Shui Yuan Topic Sports Professional sports teams based in Liaoning include Chinese Basketball Association Liaoning Flying Leopards Liaoning Hengye Chinese Football Association Super League, Chinese Super League, Dalian Yifang FC, Chinese Football Association Jia League, China League One, Liaoning FC. Topic. See also. Major national historical and cultural sites, Liaoning, Shenyang Mandarin. 2013 National Games of China Chinese aircraft carrier Liaoning Gojoseon Yan War <laughs>